Today, I'm going to show you how to create title screens, layer masks, and layer effects with video in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And this is episode four of a four part series on getting you up to speed working with video in Photoshop. In part one, we went over video editing basics, showing you how to import footage as well as how to use your timeline. In part two, we covered color grading as well as using filters on your video. In part three, we added transitions as well as audio to our clip. And then here in part four, we're gonna be working on layer effects as well as layer masks animated throughout time. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to add a title screen to your video, as well as how to create a layer mask that animates throughout time. We're gonna use this in a couple different ways to give a good reveal on our logo. I'm also gonna show you how to work with layer effects in video. I'm gonna show you how to change the direction of a shadow, giving you a really unique effect. All right, guys, so again, this is part four of a four-part series. If you haven't checked out the others, be sure to watch them in order. That's the best way to get up to speed on working with video in Photoshop. And if you'd like to follow along with what we're doing in this episode, we've also supplied everything available for download. So you can download the source footage that I'm using here in this episode and use it to recreate and follow along with our tutorial uh, right now. All right, let's go ahead and add a title screen and I'm gonna show you how you can use a layer mask and animate it throughout time. So jumping into Photoshop, let's go ahead and take a look at the video that we've already made. So you can see we've added color fill adjustment layers, we've added video groups, we've added transitions, we added a levels adjustment layer that affects the visibility of everything and we've even added an audio track. So here's our video that we've made in Photoshop. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and add the video title screen into our composition. And to do that, first I wanna create a new video group. So I'm gonna go here to any of these little film strips, doesn't really matter. We're gonna to go to a new video group. There we go, and you can see we, here's our new video group. Now there's nothing in it right now, so let's go ahead and grab something. In this case, we're gonna be using the Flurn logo. Now this is not a video, this is just still, but we're putting it in a video group. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and full screen this out. I'm gonna transform this Flurn logo, make it just a bit smaller. There we go, as large as possible though, <laughs> so I can advertise my own company. Um, so we've got our Flurn logo in place, everything looks great. You can see as I slide around, we can see Flurn right over top of my footage, which is great. Here in our timeline slider, you can see as my Flurn logo ends in my timeline slider, we no longer see it, because that's how that works. But in this case, all I have is like, it's on and then it's off, and there's there's no transition there, and there's, I really would like a way for this, look. Uh, the logo, maybe to like slide in from the right, or maybe I just want it to kind of fade in from one side to the other. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add a layer mask to this layer, and then we're gonna animate that layer mask to create the effect. So to create an animated layer mask on the Flurn logo, the first thing I need is a layer mask. Let's go ahead and open up our video group two. We see we have options for position, opacity, and style, but nothing for layer mask. So let's click on our layer two and be sure that it gets a layer mask. There we go, it has a layer mask. And as soon as I clicked on the layer mask button, we can see we have layer mask position and layer mask enable. Meaning position is going to allow me to move my layer mask throughout time and enable is just going to allow me to turn it either off or on. So we're gonna be using layer mask position to create a layer mask and then move it into place. Now the effect that I'm really going for is my logo that I want to fade in from one side or the other. So I'm gonna use a layer mask to do that and I'm gonna animate that layer mask. So clicking on my layer mask, I'm gonna use my gradient tool and click from the left to the right, which basically gives me a black to white gradient. And in this case, it's hiding my logo on the left and showing it on the right. So I wanna animate this layer mask now. So our layer and our layer mask by default are linked together. Now I'm gonna click on this little chain link between them to unlink those two together. Okay, that's a very important step. Now the next thing I wanna do is find a place where I want, let's say we want our layer mask position to start right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a keyframe right there by clicking on this little clock. You'll see a keyframe as a yellow diamond, both here and here. And here you can see it's for layer mask position. So this is the position where it starts on my image. Now let's move to a new place and I'm gonna click on our little diamond here to add another keyframe. And now I can use 
my move tool basically to just move my layer mask because we're on layer mask position and I'm clicked on my layer mask. So let's go ahead and move my layer mask. I'm gonna move this from the left, there we go, from the right to the left, and there we can see it's revealing more of my logo. So as I move throughout time, you can see my layer mask is now revealing more of my logo from the left to the right. Because basically what I did is I told it to be right here in the beginning, and I told it to be right here at the end. Now let's say in the beginning, instead of wanting to be right here, let's say I move it even farther to the right. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna click even farther to the right. Well, it's revealing a little bit of my logo, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to click that. There we go. And I'm gonna fill this with black on my layer mask as well. Okay, so now we should see starting here, my layer mask is moved over to the right, right? That's all that's happening. I'm just moving a layer mask over throughout time. So as I move the layer mask, it's revealing my Flurn logo as well. And now I can put this wherever I want, and I can have it last as how long ever I want. If I decide I want it to be short, I can hit play there, and it's gonna do it very short. If I want this to stretch out a little bit longer, this is our time here. So I can make it take a lot longer, which this is just annoying, because you're like, I wanna read that already. <laughs> I don't wanna be annoyed by it. All right, so let's go ahead and bring these into the very beginning here. All right, so we'll start, hit play, Flurn is gonna load in, and then you know what? We can have it load back out if we want to. So let's go ahead and figure out where we'd like this to load in. That's a little bit too fast, and I want it to start a little bit later. There we go. Cool, and now I'd like this to disappear basically in the same manner that it appeared in the first place. So I'm gonna click on the layer mask posi position again, and now using my move tool, and I'm clicking on my layer mask, I'm just gonna move this to the right. Now, if I was spending more time, I'd probably have it like flash out or do something else silly, but in this case, I'm okay with that because it's very easy to do, and hopefully you're learning how to do this. So I'm gonna hit this play button. Our logo is gonna fade in and then fade right back out. You know what? In the fade out, maybe I want to take a little bit longer. All right, there we go. Let's see how that looks from the very beginning. So we're gonna hit play. It's gonna fade in, it's gonna stay, and then it's gonna fade right out. You know what, if I want this to stay a little bit longer, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna see if I can duplicate this keyframe. All right, copy, all right, and then we're gonna hit Control or Command V, or just right click and go to paste. Let's move over here, right click and go to paste. There we go. So this is the same keyframe now as was over there. So what it's going to do now is it's going to slide from one side to the other here. From here to here, it's gonna stay the exact same place, and then it's gonna go ahead and slide out the other way. All right, because I duplicated that keyframe. So let's go ahead to the very beginning and hit play. Flurn logo slides in and slides out very quickly. If I wanted to go even quicker, we can do that too. Slides in, slides out. Cool, I like that, I, I think it totally works. And we can go ahead and shorten up our Learn logo. All right, so from the beginning once more, let's go ahead and close this video group down. We can see we've got our logo as well as our footage. Notice this is above our levels one layer, which is the color toning or the color grading on our video as well. So these logos that I'm putting on here are not affected by the color grading that we did in the second part. I know this is super example, super complicated, super example, it's super complicated, but if you guys have been watching from the episode one, this shouldn't look like craziness. You sh it, it should be like, oh yeah, we did that already. All right, let's hit play and see what we got. Cool, I think that looks great. All right guys, so now we know we can actually animate our layer masks throughout time. We can use them for reveals, we can use them to either hide or show a certain part of the image. There's a huge possibility here. So this is a great area that'll expand your capabilities of what you can do video editing in Photoshop. All right guys, and the last thing in this series I wanna show you is layer effects animations throughout time. This is gonna be so cool. I'm, I, I'm really excited about it, genuinely. All right, first thing I wanna do, we're using the same video group here. So I'm just gonna bring in the Florin logo again. Let's hit full screen there. All right, let's go ahead and make this just a little bit smaller. So you can see our first Florin logo, this is the one that's animating in, okay? 
Then we have our last one. And you know what? This last one, we're just going to go ahead and stick it at the very end. There we go. So after everything is done, we've got our Florin logo here on the bottom. Now, this color fill adjustment layer is, I'm actually just going to duplicate that. So we're going to click here and duplicate that so we can create another color fill adjustment layer so I can put it under my Florin logo. Because as you saw right now, there's transparent, there's nothing behind my Florin logo right now because our footage already ended, right? So I've just got a white color fill adjustment layer that's right underneath our Florin logo. So it's going to fade out and it's going to show our Florin logo. Okay, now it's time to select this layer and go to our layer effects so I can show you how to animate layer effects. All right, so my goal now is to animate a layer effect on this logo. Well, in order to animate a layer effect, I need to first create a layer effect to begin with. So let's go ahead and start there. I'm gonna open up my video group. We're gonna scroll right to about here and then I'm gonna click on my style. Clicking on style is basically style and layer effect. I think those are the same thing. I don't know why they call it the same thing, but they are. So style and layer effect. So right now there is no layer effect on this layer. So let's go ahead and double click on it and let's give it a layer effect. Let's start off with a drop shadow. So drop shadow, let's bring our size up a little bit. Maybe our distance up. Size is much too big there. Distance, we'll bring our opacity down. All right, there we go. Cool, that looks pretty good. It's not completely annoying. So let's just turn that off and on and see what our drop shadow looks like. All right, you know what? I think we could bring up the opacity a little bit more. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, I wanna animate this drop shadow. I want it to move from one side to the other. So I'm gonna start here on the right side. Now, I'm gonna make sure to not check global light. I want to make sure this is unchecked because if it's checked, it's going to affect our later animation as well. So let's uncheck that, okay? I gotta remake our, remake our thing there. All right, that looks pretty good. And let's hit okay. So now that layer effect is visible throughout the entire footage, right, throughout the entire clip. Well, if I move a little bit more into the future <laughs> and then click on style again here on our little rectangle, it's gonna create another keyframe. I'm gonna double click here on our layer again. We're gonna go back into our layer effects and this time I'm gonna just change the angle of my drop shadow. We're gonna go from one side to the other. I said okay. So now what Photoshop is basically doing is it's animating from one layer effect to another one. So as I move this slider, you can see it's actually moving my drop shadow throughout time, which in my opinion is pretty dang cool. And you can use this with any layer effect. You could add a stroke, you could do a, a color overlay, you could have it be visible, not visible, you could change the color of a color overlay. There's so many different things you can do animating layer effects throughout time. So let's go ahead and click play here. All right, that does not look that great because it just appears there. So let's just add a little fade with white. Click and drag, bonk, right on there. Hit play. <laughs> fade with white. All right, that turns out to not be what we wanted to do because that actually made my footage white. So let's start off with opacity here. Opacity, and let's go ahead and bring that to 0%. And right about here. We'll go ahead and click another opacity and bring that to 100%. All right, so this will fade in the layer from invisible to visible. There we go. Fades across, and then we can fade this back out again. So opacity of 100%, go to the very end, click on our opacity slider, go all the way down, all right? And there we go, all the way to the end. So let's go right here, hit play, and beautiful so so cool guys all right cool so now let's go ahead and take a look from the beginning and make sure the video is actually what we want it to be so we're gonna hit play turn my audio back on All right, guys, and there we have it. Video editing in Photoshop in four different episodes brought together to create one final product. All right, so now that we've created our awesome video, we're ready to shock the world and let them know how great we are at Photoshop video editing. Um, let's go ahead and render this out so we can put it on YouTube. 
I'm gonna click on our render button. So if you're in your timeline here, just go ahead and click on your render button. It's going to go to the render video. You can also go to file and then down here to export and to render video. All right, now my suggestions would be your format to have it be on H.264. It's a very good encoding format and it, it, it works very well with YouTube and just about wherever you're gonna put it. Now, if you know exactly where this video is going to go, you can click on a preset. So you can change your preset from anything from high quality, low quality. You have Androids, Apple TVs. It, down here on the bottom, you have video, Vimeo and even some YouTube options there. So for this video, I'm just gonna click on high quality. Everything else looks good. Doesn't matter to me where you put it. Stick it on your desktop if you have trouble finding things and uh, everything else looks great. So we're gonna hit render then it's gonna go out and save my video and I'm gonna be able to view this in my Finder window. All right guys, the export's complete. Let's go into Finder and take a look at what we've done. So here we see our Florence sample video .mp4. Hit the space bar. All right, and there we have it guys, video editing in Photoshop. All right guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me here at Flurn. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you enjoyed this four episode series. If you'd like to see more of this sort of stuff from Flurn.com, let us know in a comment right down below. You can be like, whoa, four episode series on video for free on Photoshop, yeah. Or you can be like, video sucks. <laughs> Um, whatever you want. I'd, I'll be happy to read your comment either way. So if you love to learn things and get things for free in Photoshop and photography and hanging out with me, just click on your screen right now. It'll subscribe you to our YouTube channel and you'll receive free Photoshop and photography videos every single week. Thanks so much, guys. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone. Woo! Champion. King of the world. Did it. All right. Think we're good, Asa. My brain is not working. My nose is still incredibly itchy. What the heck? Just a crap load of hair on <laughs> my face. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Sometimes I forget what I'm gonna say. I'm just like.